John W. Snyder, to whom the tremendous job of reconversion has been entrusted, talks about post-war jobs. We want to create in America jobs for all of those who are ready and willing to work. An eco economy that will provide a steadily rising standard of living. We want a stable economy which will avoid the disasters of inflation and deflation. We know the moves that must be made, and all of you must play your part. Every man in government is still at battle station as far as reconversion is concerned. There will be no let up until our men and women are back at work in steady peacetime jobs. The fluted columns of Berlin's Reichstag form a background for the international black market, patronized by friend and foe alike. Berliners are eager to purchase goods they've been so long without, and a Russian soldier drives a hard bargain. Almost as good as ready money is a camera, and a pack of American cigarettes brings 100 marks. Even in Paris, the price is only 10 marks. All prices are exorbitant, but trade is brisk. Non-fraternization was necessary at first, and war-weary GIs, eager for amusement, watched Fräuleins team up for a bit of light fantastic in one of Berlin's few nightclubs. The going was pretty tough for a while, but finally the ban was lifted, and a good time was enjoyed by all. Even the gal he left behind can't blame Joe for taking a little time out from the war. Or can you? The conquering heroes have plenty of territory to work on, but sometimes it proves too much for even a hero. Pleasant dreams, soldier. Blast that opened new horizons of science. The first atom bomb mushrooms into the sky above New Mexico. 